guys, it's Jennifer Elizabeth with Pride Peak Liz Vlogs. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today, I have a really fun Dollar Tree haul for you. I have a ton of new Easter items and spring items. At the end of the video, I'm going to redecorate my space and the background for Easter. So we got a lot to do today. Without further ado, let's get started. I found some really fun new items at Dollar Tree. I am just loving it. I'm not loving the price hike. Not loving the $1.25, let's be honest, but everything has gone up everywhere so but they are bringing in a lot of fun new items so this i absolutely love i love the design of it with the lines and i absolutely love the effect with the purple as it fades to a lighter purple i think this is beautiful for spring i'm gonna definitely set up some of my picks in this well, this beautiful vase as well. This reminds me of one of those um, carafes. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. It's the perfect, perfect length. So to go along with these vases, I actually got some filler. I have um, filler from different seasons, but I just could not resist. Look how fun these colors are. Like they're beautiful with the sparkles and the color. I absolutely love it. So I will be decorating both of these for spring and Easter. Um, have a couple of collabs coming up so you might see one of them in a collab or on so you might see one of them in a collab or on a tear tray not exactly sure but definitely going to be using these but definitely excited to start crafting and diying with these and the bases and all the picks that i have already shared with you in previous hauls so i also found speaking of previous hauls i was missing i was missing fraser <laughs> fraser the flamingo well i found him so now I have all four of these cute little characters right here, the new planters for spring 2022. I also picked up, so in addition to these, I picked up two pieces to the fairy garden. This fairy garden, I believe they are calling the farm fairy garden. So yeah, so I picked up the adorable little bee house, the little honeycomb bee house. I love that. I love the purple, so pretty. And then I got the camper as well. I might still pick up some more pieces, but I do have a lot of fairy gardens and I have a lot of the completed sets. So, so at this point with the next few fairy gardens, I might just pick and choose a couple of pieces, but I definitely had to get these two because I have a collection of campers in my fairy gardens. And I also have um, a little like beehive and things like that. So this is perfect. So these are perfect additions to the fairy garden pieces that I already have. Okay, they put out some more crafting fabric and these cuts are absolutely adorable. I love them. This is so pretty right here. Look at that indigo blue with the really pretty light blue flowers. So beautiful. I got that one. I think I got the whole set. This is so cool. Very retro with the bike. The bike has been showing up on a lot of different things. So I don't know. The bike... Bikes might be the thing this year. We might see them um, throughout the seasons like Dollar Tree likes to do. So I'm pretty psyched to see that on the fabric square. This one I think is my favorite. It is the peacock feather. And I love how beautiful that peach pink rose looks with it. It's just such an amazing blend of colors. I love that. And they did. <laughs> The blue truck. <laughs> so I guess with, as, along with trucks, they're going to be going with bikes as well. So. <laughs> and this, of course, my favorite. I love butterflies. And these butterflies are just so beautiful. Look at the mix of brilliant colors. So, so pretty. So those are the newest fabric cuts that I found. And I also got a bunch of cute little kitchen towels. So these are... So these are polyester um, they're not that completely uncomfortable microfiber uh, texture feeling, but they are not 100% cotton. So they're like in between, but I still think that they're great for that pop of color and that pop of the season. If you want to mix it up like in the bathroom, if you want to mix it up by putting one of them, like I like to put them in the bathroom, I like to put them in the kitchen, just, just to add that, just to add that little pop of the season. So this one right here is so pretty. Happy Easter, join the egg hunt. And there's the blue truck. 
so I just think that's so pretty. And I love the gray buffalo check this time. Wow, they are mixing it up with the colors for the buffalo check as well. How to get the traditional Easter eggs, right? So I went, I just, so I got the traditional Easter eggs. There are more patterns, but these are the ones that I got because as you know, with Dollar Tree and when you haul, it just gets out of control. So I'm trying to be conservative. <laughs> so I'm trying to be a little more conservative, but also get some fun things to, to show you and to share with you and also to, and also to use in my house. So this one is so darling with the egg hunt and the different decorated eggs. They look very retro to me. I love, there we go again with that mix of color for the buffalo check, the pink and white on the bunny and then the yellow and white right there. And I love that this, this one. So yeah, I think this is so, so pretty. This reminds me of a Fabergé egg. So pretty. And I got one more. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Easter without an Easter basket and an Easter bunny? So pretty. I love that blue. It's really brilliant. It really makes every other color pop. So that is it for the towels. So that's what I got for um, the hand towels and the crafting fabric. Now I'm going to show you um, a ton of different signs that I found. Went a little crazy, but I'm going to decorate this space. I have other spaces in my house that I'm going to decorate. So let me show you the items that I picked. Okay, so I have wooden signs, I have some metal signs, I have some of those felt signs, and some DIY crafting kits. So let's get started with the wooden signs. So cute. Look at this bunny. And I love it. He reminds me of retro Peter Cottontail. He's so cute. Classic Happy Easter with the carrots. And bunny, please stop here. How cute is that? <laughs> we have, um, I have a really beautiful sense of area snake plant right in the doorway. So I think that this is going to go into there. And so that way the bunny knows that he is welcome to stop and leave Easter baskets for Gianni. <laughs> now I love this next one. So beautiful. And the glitter, just amazing. Like, look at that. Look at that in the light. That pop of glitter is so that pop of glitter is just pow. It's so beautiful on that blue truck. The carrot patch. I love this one. Pick your own open daily, locally grown, 25 cents each. This is beautiful. And this is one that um, I would definitely use year round. I don't think that it's specific to Easter and spring. I just think it's so pretty. And here is a specific little Easter one, but so beautiful. Again, these little like bunny peeps with their cute little pom-pom tails welcome and again look at that glitter so pretty with the right lighting i love it and i love the pastels classic easter egg <laughs> hippity hoppity easter's on its way it certainly is and spring has sprung oh my goodness i cannot believe it this is just like crazy how this year is flying by but i'm okay with that i'm not okay with 90 degree weather <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i'm not okay with like the hot humid summer but i love 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 spring it's so the weather is so perfect especially here in new england and look at this beautiful little bunny with a pennant with the little flag that says with the little pennant flag that says spring and i love how he looks distressed just adds to the touch and he's in that little hat almost like the from Frosty. <laughs> this reminds me of Hocus Pocus jumping out of that hat. Those are the wooden signs. I am going to go grab the DIY kits and the felt signs and the metal signs and I will show them to you in a second. <laughs> okay, so these two little metal signs, oops, they are stuck together so we'll do it like that. <laughs> so cute right there and look at the little baby bunny. So cute, almost like a little kangaroo pouch. Uh, bunnies don't have kangaroo pouches but yeah, so cute, the little baby bunny right there. And that one, I love the carrots. One of those will definitely be working its way into one of those plants right there. And now some felt signs. Some of these, and now some felt um, signs and DIY kits. I might have actually hauled a few of these before, but um, we always do multiples, so that's okay. So if you've seen this already, sorry, but um, again, I get multiples. But we do, like I said, I get multiple, so I like to show them because I did pick them up on this particular haul. This right here, the DIY Make Your Own Little Chick. There's all the pieces, and of course, you can 
you can DIY these and glam them up with glitter and gems and all kinds of stuff, or just use the traditional pieces that come with it. And next, <laughs> I did show the boy bunny one. I'm pretty sure. I know I hauled the boy one before and showed it. I'm not sure if I already showed the girl one, but there she is. And we will definitely um, bling her up with some glitter and gems. And I got two of them. So next, this one I'm definitely going to DIY. Um, so cute. The felt bunny garland. And look at the little pom-pom tails. Definitely going to be adding some different um, gems and glitter to these. And I got the Easter egg. Again, probably will DIY this. And I love this one right here. So, so cute. How adorable is that? Just, it's perfect. Not doing anything to that. Absolutely perfect. He's just so cute. The, this little chick is just so cute. And I love how brilliant that yellow is against the blue. It's just beautiful. And we also have, we also have this chick right here. So now I have some window clings and a couple of really cute Easter, like, buckets. I mean, you could use them as baskets, but they're, you know, the buckets. <laughs> so yeah, so they're more like the little storage buckets, but let me show them to you. Okay. So window clings. I know I already showed one, but, um, these are, I believe these are all different. We have a huge slider that goes onto like a balcony. We have a huge slider. So we put a lot of these on the slider. So cute with the chick and the bunny and the flowers and the easter eggs to say happy easter and then i also decorate them on various windows throughout the house and believe it or not i put some of these on my fish tanks as well because they stick perfect to the glass of the aquarium this is so cute i love this one right here the bunny in the basket and the eggs and these <laughs> these are the storage tote basket buckets i was talking about and i just think they're so pretty um pastels really really pretty pastels basic brand basic messages on them so cute so the yellow one says so the yellow one says bunny kisses and easter wishes i'm holding it like that so you can actually see it and there's some easter eggs right there the pink one i love this one this one's hysterical the pink one shake your cotton tail perfectly in focus. <laughs> so cute. And we have, and then we have this one. I, and then I love this one, egg delivery on the truck with the eggs and it says Easter's on its way. And it says Easter's on its way. So cute. Last one, which is just so, this last one is so classic because it's just so basic, but so pretty. Bunny trail right there with the little arrow. So that is it. Now I have a couple more items. So that's the majority of the haul. I have a few more items to share with you and then I'm going to decorate this. So let me get those and then we will decorate. Okay, last couple items and then I will decorate the space and show you the result and show you when it's all done. So these little gnomes, <laughs> thought I got four. I'm not sure what happened to the fourth one. <laughs> Um, could be in a bag somewhere and not exactly sure, but I believe there were four different designs, but these are the ones that I have. So these are the ones I'm going to share with you today. Cute little pink one, the striped hat. And I love it because it's designed with like wiggly stripes and straight stripes, plain on the back. And then this one is so cute too. It just has the straight white line stripes and again plain on the back and the sky probably my favorite because I love purple with the purple and white polka dots purple hat with white polka dots and again it's plain on the back and last two items I actually showed in a previous haul the two that go with a set and I said I believe there's four they usually do these in fours so I did find the other two pieces of that set this one I love the portfolio with the honeycomb design and the bee and a bee. so there's a bee with the honeycomb design and I love that gold foil these are by Jot and so you get the honeycomb that one right there with the lines and then look at this and then 
so honey. <laughs> and it comes with a pen. This one is just beautiful spring flowers right there. And I love it because there's blue right there. It's a really cool pop of color. When you open it up, these are absolutely beautiful. So you get this one right here, the long piece with the lines, and then that flower design with the lines. And then how pretty is that flower right there? Very, very pretty. So that concludes today's haul. So now I'm going to clean all this up, set this up, change the background signs, and add some little details over here and I will show you the results when I'm all done. <laughs> so that's what the background currently looks like right now and you will see the brand new Easter spring decorated background in three, two, one. And just like that, here is the new setup. I think it's super cute. I might change the signage a little bit, add something different, but I have my little garden gnomes right there, my cute little gnomes right there. So I have these three little um, cute little plush gnomes right there. And then I put two of the taller gnomes with the bunny. The third one is right above my head over there. And then I put my frogs right here with the flowers. I think it looks really, really cute. I decided to go with the carrot patch and the two bunny signs for now. But like I said, I might change them because I do have other signs. I actually have a few more that are going to be uh, showcased in the next Dollar Tree haul. So that might change a little bit, but I think it came out really, really cute. It definitely is giving me spring vibes and Easter vibes. And I just love all the pastels and the beautiful glitter on that blue truck. You can even see the pop of glitter from this far. With all that being said, that does conclude today's Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to comment down below, like the video, hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell so you know next time I upload and every time I upload. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.